What's going on YouTube? Geosnowright here. So in today's video I'm going to talk about Electra and the newest beta that has been pushed out by Coolstar. And it's important to update to the latest beta every time. And I would like to address that and I would like to address why is that. So um, yes, Electra, for those of you who do not know, it's a jailbreak toolkit that enables you to install themes through Anemone on your device running iOS 11.0 up to 11.1.2 and to install tweaks, in fact, quite a lot of tweaks, but we're getting to that. So the uh, beta 6.3 has been pushed out and it's important because it fixes quite some things. And one of the most important things it does, it takes the jailbreak D daemon and it makes it a launch D service. So this means that if it ever gets terminated or killed by the device itself or you know, even by you, by mistake, you did something and the uh, jailbreak demon crashed, then it would not be a pain to start it since it gets restarted automatically by the device. Now, this is very important since we're relying on this jailbreak the demon to do the stuff that is very, very important. And up to the beta 6.3, uh, this demon was started when you jailbroke the device with Electrum. But if this demon had a problem and crashed and you know, simply got killed or terminated or whatever you want to call it, it would be a pain to start this demon back again. Especially if you're a beginner and all you're interested into is theming your device or tweaking your device and you're not really into that technical part of iOS, you know, on what's behind the scenes like demons and processes and files and stuff like that. Well, now it would restart itself automatically, which is very, very important since you wouldn't even notice that the jailbreak demon that's at the core of your current jailbreak had crashed since it starts back again. So I definitely encourage you to go ahead and install the beta 6.3. Now I know there have been a lot of betas uh, at this point for Electra and uh, I can quite possibly say that Electra got the biggest number of betas in the shortest time frame ever for a jailbreak, at least in my opinion. But it's very important to update. I know it's like really painful to just go ahead and get another IPA every time and install it with CD Impact or uninstall the previous one, get this one and check out if there's new betas and what it does. And I know, I know it's, it's something that pisses you off. But at the same time, I know how important this fixes that Coolstar pushes to the Electra are. Electra is not ready for the prime time. Electra is actually in beta, which means that a lot of stuff has to still be fixed, still be uh, modified here and there. Uh, fixes come, um, you know, stuff goes. Um, a lot of features are being removed or reworked since uh, Coolstar or other individuals are finding bugs in them or in the way they work. So it's very um, important to keep updated uh, to the latest beta when you're using a beta software since it's always prone to fail at one point or another. So definitely check out the official Electra website at coolstar.org slash Electra and make sure you're always using the latest beta since it will definitely give you a better solution for your jailbreak and it will definitely give you more stability. Now let's talk a little bit about the uh, tweaks themselves. Now this is the list of the Electra compatible tweaks for iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2. Now, I have presented this list before, but since I uh, presented this list, it has, um, it has gone through a lot of modifications, new tweaks have been added in here. And you can see it's not only telling you which tweaks are not working or which tweaks are working, it tells you both. In fact, it tells you which are stable and working, which are not working at all and you should completely avoid them for the moment and which tweaks do install and do seem to work but have issues like only half of the tweak works or it works but in a weird way or it simply installs but does nothing and it's pretty much the issues part in here now some of them would uh, install but crash your device into safe mode, for example. Now, this is a case of this one here, Force 3D Touch, which brings into safe mode when activating the 3D Touch 
gesture. So it's important to keep an eye on this listing here to prevent going into the safe mode, which can be a little bit scary for a beginner in the jailbreak community, or to prevent, you know, even worse um, things. For example, I don't know, a file being corrupted that is required by the system. Something like that can really put your device in a boot loop. So um, yeah, it's always a good idea to check out in here this page, this spreadsheet in here is pretty much getting updated, uh, I think daily or at least weekly. So it's a very good idea to take a look in here. There are currently like 200 different tweaks being mentioned in here. So it's growing and it's being updated as uh, the uh, tweak status change. Let's say we have slick code in here. It doesn't currently work, but what if I'm the developer of the slick code and I decide to update it to work with Electrum? and make it work. Well, it will be updated in here. So that's how you know a tweak has been updated to work with iOS 11.x on Electra. That's why it's important. So definitely start it, bookmark it like this, and you will have it in your browser and you can refer to it when you want to install something and of course not be afraid of boot looping your device or going into the safe mode. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and follow Coolstar. He's publishing when a new um, Electra beta is out and these are very very important betas. They're not like just cosmetic fixes or uh, moving a button from the the bottom to the top or something like that. There, there are fixes that are making this jailbreak toolkit better and better with each iteration. So just do yourself a favor and use the latest beta. That was it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to check out my um, apps developer course for iOS in the description down below if you want to learn how to make your own iOS applications, if you want to become an iOS programmer or iOS developer. And uh, you can check it out down below. And you can save quite a lot with the current promotion. So just go ahead, check out the coupon code in the description down below. And uh, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Till the next time, I'm Gia Snow, signing out.